talk about the pros and cons of airsoft training when it comes to personal protection and self-defense. My name is Jason Hansen. I'm a former CI officer and I've done a tremendous amount of firearms training. We have our 320 acre spy ranch and since I left the agency, trained thousands of people. So I know just a little bit about firearms training, what the good, the bad, and the ugly is. So when most people think of airsoft, they think about some 10 year old kid running around, you know, shooting their friends in the woods or whatever. But obviously it's come a long, long way over the years. And I'm actually a fan of airsoft training. And the reason is most of us are incredibly blessed that we're probably not gonna be shot at ever or shot at on a regular basis. And most of us are you know, blessed that we're not living in some war zone in some third world country. But airsoft makes it more of a reality. Meaning when you have someone shooting those little BBs at you, when I say BBs, this is the type of stuff you're gonna get. Um, let's see, six millimeter BBs, 25 grain, these type of things. This is what's going in the airsoft gun. And I tell you, they don't feel good. So when somebody's shooting these at you, you're not gonna sit there, and obviously it's not like a real bullet, but when you hit on the hand and it breaks skin and it stings, you get motivated to have better tactics, you get motivated to move, get off the X, and that kind of stuff. So when you are doing airsoft training, of course, you're always using some type of facial protection. This is what we use, it's a mask, goes over the face here. This is just Velcro, clips back the head, that way you're fully protected, so if you do get shot in the face, then you don't have to worry about it. And we do wear safety glasses every once in a blue moon. And I very, very rarely, uh, these things can shatter. So you always want to wear glasses. The way if they do break when they hit there, it's not going to go in your eye type of thing. So you're always going to wear some type of face protection such as this. And then the best part about the airsoft training are the various drills you can do. So you can simulate home invasion drills which is what we do. And we simulate things because if anybody here has been a law enforcement police officer, not every drill is a shoot drill. You've got to train your mind for shoot, no shoot. What I mean by that is we do drills where we may say, okay, this is a home invasion where some guy's knocking on your door and you've got to figure it out. Sometimes it is a shoot scenario where it's a home invasion. The guy has a weapon too, meaning the scenario, a role player we use has a knife and you got to shoot. But other times it's somebody who's just lost, somebody who's just, you know, mad, having a bad day but they're not doing anything that warrants deadly force. Airsoft guns, of course, have come a long, long way. This is just a, uh, a Walther. This is one of the airsoft training guns that we use. Uh, so it's you know more lifelike, obviously not something you're gonna go around and play with on the streets, because even though it has orange, police will very likely shoot you since it looks like so much of a real gun. But this Walther it takes CO2 cartridges, and they last a, a pretty good amount of time. So just regular CO2, you know, the CO2 that uh, we're all familiar with. Take your CO, uh, CO2 cartridges, throw it in here, uh, throw in your magazine, your little pellet slash BBs, and again, run scenarios. If you turn the corner and you see a guy there and he comes out and he starts popping off rounds at you, even though you've got a face shield, even though you're going to have a, a thick jacket, your hands are still, well, you can wear gloves, but... It still doesn't feel good. You're gonna be motivated again to learn how to get off the X, how to move, how to shoot and move, and all that kind of stuff. So that's why I'm a fan of airsoft training. It's setting up realistic scenarios, whether it's, hey, you're at an ATM machine, or you and your wife are walking out of a parking lot late at night, some guys are harassing you, or some guy's coming towards you, and all of a sudden you see him pull a gun, what are you gonna do? Well, if you see him pull a gun now, you're gonna get off the X, you're gonna start firing, because you know in the scenario, he's probably gonna fire at you. So if you have a chance in your local area to do some airsoft, ask them questions. Be like, what is it going to consist of? Is it going to be scenario training? Because you don't just want to run around in a, a paintball field and you know shoot things off. You actually want to get some knowledge. You want to hardwire your brain to be like, okay, yes, this is what I'm going to do, which is what well-rehearsed, thought-out scenarios with role players will do, show you more lifelike scenarios. So again, get some airsoft training. I'm former CI officer Jason Hansen. Have a wonderful rest of the day. Make sure you like, subscribe. And if you want more information about staying safe, which has absolutely nothing to do with Airsoft, definitely check out the link below. And I'm out of here.